this summer with an Alaskan cruise. And while you're there, get up close and personal with the chef. Learn his tricks of the trade. And uh, it's all part of a growing trend of cooking cruises. And here to tell us about them this morning is Chef Freddie Bestowi and uh, Laura White from Holland America Cruises. Come on in this way. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. morning. What a great idea to go kind of enjoy a fabulous vacation and then do something that you love along the way. Yeah. Let's find out what we're going to make this morning. Then I'm going to kind of find out how this all works. But this would be an example yes, of what would we be, would make? Yes, it would be an, um, a really good example. What, um, what I do is I cook a Native American food. Uh -huh. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, do a cruise to Alaska. And I'm going to bring some desert foods from here. And I'm going to fuse them with some Pacific Northwest food um, while we're on the cruise. And kind of give a little bit of history about uh, the cuisine and development of the cuisine as well. Wow. So okay, it's so very exciting. Would, would the whole cruise be um, focused around one type of, of cooking and one type, like, you know, like the Native Amer American cuisine, or would it be kind of a variety, Italian, well, not, Native American? Um, not necessarily. Well, what I'm um, going to do is I'm going to do um, both classes on Native American food. Okay. Um, but it's going to be fused to where it has a really good modern um, style and um, very contemporary. I think it sounds fabulous. Well. What are you going to make for us? What today? we're going to do is we're going to do some. Um, a seared uh, sable fish, which is mm -hmm. also known as a black cod. Have you tried it before? Uh, no. Yeah, I haven't either. It, it's very popular in Alaska. It's a very prized fish. Uh, okay. It's getting very popular. It is a um, oily fish, mm -hmm. which is um, which actually um, is a is a really good luxurious fish. Okay, so, so the oily fish means that it's uh, more decadent, or yes, it's it more decadent. Cook it, easier. Or? It, it cooks easier, and it's it's um, easier to work with. Okay. And it. Um, kind of holds itself together, kind of like salmon. It's a very durable fish. Okay. It's not as um, flaky. So what I'm just going to do is... Dummy proof is the way I like <laughs> to call it. <laughs> I can do it at home. So what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of dredge it in flour. We're just uh -huh. going to put a little a little crisp um, um, little coating on there. Kind of something like this. You just want to get it a little uh, nice and um, brown on the top because we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to put a vinaigrette on there. Oh. Because it's summer, we want a lighter type uh, dish. We don't want anything heavy. It's true. Um, kind of fit for the fall. Mm -hmm. So kind of make everything nice and fresh. And uh, what we're going to um, add that with is we're going to put that um, over some tepri beans, which are from southern Arizona, indigenous to this part I've of the country. I've never tried those before. Yes. They're uh, very, um, they're getting uh, very popular these days. And my good friends over at the Toka organization are the ones who um, provide a lot of the tepri beans. Where can we find them um, before at home? And we want it to. You can uh, find them at tokaonline.org. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Okay. And they can send them right straight to your house. Uh, so we, I made a ragu, and what a ragu is is a type of a stewed product. So if you have like a, uh, it's spelled with an O, not with the a, a U. Um, so we just kind of make this little uh, ragu here. And what we're going to do with this here is we're just going to um, get some beans. We're just going to add them in some water. And very important not to salt your beans, salt any type of beans when you just um, cook it. So you want to have them um, cook for about an hour. Okay. Then after the hour, say it's an hour time lapse, we're going to put some tomatoes in there and um, let, um, let the acidity, um, acidity cook out of it. And we're also going to put um, one garlic clove in there and uh, an onion pique, which is just an onion with a clove inside it. Oh, I didn't know that one either. Yeah, Did you? That's a new one for me. <laughs> I feel and like I'm learning a lot. Everything is good, just pretty big because all you want is the aromatic flavor from, from the, uh, the right. product in here. And we're going to remove them all out. Well, I'm going to have you pause for just a quick second oh, or, or keep yeah, you know, I'll preparing. Yeah, I'll go ahead and finish but, uh, the right here. Yeah. Tell me about this cruise. Holland America, is this something new or is this something that I just didn't know about? Well, the trend in cruising is not just about sitting in a lounge chair for the duration of your trip. People want to be enriched. They mm -hmm. want to learn things while they're away. And so what we decided to do was bring in uh, a wonderful, and there's a shot of our beautiful ship too, yes. Um, Holland America Line has been around for 135 years, so we have a long history of cruising. Look but at that. What, what, whale tails and bears, oh my, lots of wilderness, lots of beautiful scenery that you'll take in during this cruise. And here locally, we decided what a great idea, get people out of the heat of the Arizona Valley, get them traveling with uh, Chef Bitsui, and get them on a cruise enjoying the sights and sounds of Alaska. So is there um, kind of a cutoff where people are saying, hey, this looks fantastic, that they would need to kind of make their decision by, or is this a... Absolutely. The, the cruise is coming up quickly. It is uh -huh. July 15th. Uh, the trend we've seen this year is a little bit later booking, so people are making last-minute decisions. They're hoping for a better deal. It absolutely, like. absolutely. But we have uh, been able to blend a great deal in price with the likes of uh, culinary uh, chef Bitsui to be accompanying them on this cruise so that they're learning as well as enjoying. It looks beautiful. If you haven't been on a cruise before, which I haven't, um, what kind of things should we be expecting and how do we pack for something like this when you
you've got kind of a specialty cruise. Well, what's unique about Alaska is this is a seven-day cruise. Alaska is known to be a very casual destination, oh. too. So there isn't that usual formality. You don't have to worry about a tuxedo or long ball gowns for formal nights on board. Okay. A lot more easygoing, cocktail-style um, clothing to wear. As far as packing, we always suggest dressing in layers. You know, there's this misconception that Alaska will be freezing cold, but it's really not. Um, dress in layers like an onion so that as the day progresses and warms up, you're peeling off a layer or two as you continue on. Speaking of onion, let's get back to that one where he <laughs> shoved the clove into it. Was it a clove that you shoved in there or garlic? Garlic. Garlic, clove. garlic yes. clove. So there we go. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, wow. Looks like. And yeah. you've prepared this. What is this that, that kind of is drizzled on top? Uh, that's the vinaigrette. It's uh, simple uh, red wine and lemon vinaigrette with okay. some mixed herbs. And we, these were some of the, the, the things yeah, that this you put is in there? Yeah, this is some of the stuff I cooked the beans in. Okay. So that looks phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I have to yes. have to try those little great. beans. Yeah, the beans well, are great. The wonderful thing about the beans is they're um, as long, no long, no matter how long you cook them, they'll always be al dente. Okay. So they're not like our conventional pinto beans or red beans or anything of the sort. So they'll always be a bite to them, and that's what I really like about them. They're not kind of that mushy flavor. How'd yeah. you get this gig to be able to go on a cruise and get paid for yeah, it? I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. <laughs> I gotta excited work one yeah. of those deals. We can talk. We can Chef talk after Bitsui. the show. Did I say that wrong? Yes, Bitsui. Bitsui. Yes. I apologize at the, oh, not a on problem. the onset. I said not that wrong. Um, but you may get this recipe to try in your own kitchen uh, for the seared sable fish with herb vinaigrette on our website, as well as more information about the culinary excursion you can go on on Holland America. You can find all of that under the food tab and under the links on abc15.com.